Hey everyone, today is January 28, 2012, and I just saw a really disturbing statistic in the news. Last year, about 13,000 Mexicans were murdered because of the drug war. And over the last five years, almost 50,000 Mexicans were murdered because of the drug war. I think there are more beheadings in Mexico, actually, than there are in Saudi Arabia. And that's more than all the Americans that were killed in the Afghan and Iraq war. So, can we start just admitting that we have to start rethinking the drug war? I know there are good people on both sides, and there are people of good conscience who have a problem uh, with, with drugs or, and stuff like that and don't want to encourage you know, children or the next generation to, to take drugs, and they've seen families destroyed by drugs. But can we all admit that maybe, just maybe, the solution is not throwing everyone in jail who slips up and becomes addicted to a substance? Is that the best solution to this problem? Is it, is it really? Or should maybe we treat it as a medical issue, just like we do obesity or anorexia or any other uh, type of medical issue where people cannot, on their own, stop destroying themselves? Why can't we just treat it honestly like that? By saying you're against the drug war does not mean you're advocating that 11-year-olds start smoking pot or doing cocaine. It does not mean that at all. What it means is, is that we are literally destroying Mexico we're destroying our inner cities, we're doing enormous damage to society as a whole, and we can't afford it. We just simply can't afford it. It doesn't work. It just doesn't work. Let's just look at the facts, okay? When you have about 50,000 people murdered in Mexico, unless you want to just literally just invade Mexico with an army to stop this, this drug war does not work. Okay, and everyone watching this, even if you absolutely agree, as I do, that you don't want your family members doing, doing drugs, I don't use drugs, but no one who's, whose family member slips up then wants their family member to be thrown in jail for like a decade for doing so. We all would understand that we want it treated as a medical issue. And I, I'm very sympathetic to people who live in the inner cities, who see drug dealers literally destroying their, their cities, and so their instinct is, is that the drugs are the problem. But the reason why these people are empowered, the reason why the drug lords are empowered in Mexico is because it is illegal and these people are willing to break the law to deal in the black market and since there's no judicial system to deal with the trading of goods and services for drugs, for example, if I say I'm going to sell you drugs and you don't pay up money, I can't go to a court system and say, hey, these guys didn't pay me up. I have to enforce it through violence. That's the only way it's done. That's why it empowers gangs and the mafia figures and all these other underlords through to enforce basically their own judicial system in a black market. That's how it works, folks. That's what happened in Prohibition. That's why you had gangsters through Prohibition. It didn't work then. It doesn't work now. Now, I, I understand my conservative friends who say that if everyone uses drugs very freely, it will degrade the culture. Fine. I, I concede that point. I don't want everyone out in the street just using drugs all day long. Okay, and for the libertarians that actually want this passed in America, that actually want, or, or, or liberals or progressives that actually want the drug war ended, you got to start at least admitting that maybe drugs are not just a great thing, because a lot of times you're scaring the crap out of people who would, would have an instinct that this thing is not working, but they just are, they're deeply concerned that there's just going to be rampant drug use all over the place, and it's not going to make their society better. So you have to somehow figure out solutions for what's going to happen if you legalize it. And I know in Portugal, supposedly they had drug use drop, but let's say, for instance, that you legalize, uh, you end the drug war, and it does increase drug use. How are you going to deal with that solution in a reasonable, logical fashion, rather than simply saying, okay, we're going to throw people in jail? Okay, let's treat it like a medical issue. Come up with some solution so you can bring people together so we can actually stop this already. The reason why it's been going on for so long, truthfully, is because you have two sides that are dealing in an ideological struggle of where there's no agreement. Okay, you have one side who basically says, drugs are great, uh, we should just let everyone use drugs because it's my body. And the other side who says it's going to degrade our culture and we don't want people to do it. And there's no reconciliation with that. Unless you just admit that the problem is being created by an actual enforcement mechanism, which is the, the drug war, and putting people in jail for, for decades for slipping up just like, you know, they, they would with, with eating too much, okay? You, you could certainly stop a, a certain amount of obesity by throwing people in jail for eating too much. But is that a solution? No. It doesn't work that way. 
So again, we need to be able to give people courage to just admit the facts that when 50,000 people over five years are getting murdered in Mexico, maybe this isn't working. But you can't scare the crap out of people by saying it's going to be great if we all just start using drugs all day, because it's not. Overall, I'm against the drug war. We just have to admit the facts. This is a joke, and it's serious, and we have to stop it. We have to give politicians the courage to actually step up and tell the truth about this and actually admit that it's a problem that needs to end immediately. So rate this video. If you hate it, play your favorites you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe. And I got all links below. Today is January 28, 2012, and that's how the world works.